Good morning, YouTube pie smokers. 22 degrees. What? 22 degrees. You heard it. <clears throat> anyway, good morning. Been a while since I did a driving video. So I figured I'd do it on the way in to work. I figured I'd touch base on the Vegas show. Pipe show. I was out there for transmission seminars. And it happens to be the pipe show. Just a few miles from where I was. So perfect opportunity to head over there, which I did. And I'm glad I did. Got to meet Mel and uh, Smurf, Smurf and Ellie, and Mike at Mariah Blues, and Andrew, Sligliano, and it was a good time. And of course I bought some pipes, but uh, also bought some tobacco there, which I really like. Uh, Ken Burns, I think the name is. Um, I bought four different type of tobaccos, and he has a website, and I reached out to him. He's out of stock. Uh, he has Burley Morning Pipe, which is really very good. But, you know, every time, not every time, i only been to two pipe shows, one that was in New Jersey, wasn't as big as this one and this one in Vegas and um, I always go away feeling like I'm not really a true pipe smoker and I revisit this whole thing in my head because you have to struggle to find a filtered pipe in a pipe show Out of all the pipes, there were probably hundreds of pipes in this show, maybe even thousands, I don't know. And there may have been five filtered pipes, maybe. And if you ask for a filtered pipe on the table, you almost get like, get out of here, kid. Yeah, yeah. Come back to me when you're a real pipe smoker. I mean, that's, they're not saying that, but that's the feeling you get. And I always revisit this in my head. Am I, I must be doing something wrong if 95% of the pipe smoking community, probably, smokes a pipe without filters. But if you do the, not, the numbers, I don't, we don't have all the numbers, but most people smoke a pipe, you could probably say 85% do not use a filter. Somewhere along that or mix, there has to be somebody that has a tongue like mine. Right? I can't have this unique tongue that I get tongue bite and they don't. Maybe for some people, but not out of 85%, let's say. So it has to be, I'm doing something wrong. And this is what I battle in my head. That's the conclusion I come to. Because nothing else makes sense. A, a vast majority are suffering from tongue bite and they don't care. Can that be? I mean, your tongue hurts. How can you ignore it? I can't wrap my head around this. And I dwell on it. And I've been dwelling on it for since I left the pipe show. also badly in a cold but um, I don't know it's just uh, it really confuses the heck out of me yeah. 
I'd like to get to the bottom of it somehow, but I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how, what to do. Something inside me says, you have to smoke a pipe without a filter. Otherwise you're not a true pipe smoker. And then the other little voice says, but you can't, stupid ass, because your tongue hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I know in the comments you're going to put just enjoy what you like and I, I understand that but it's like there's a disconnect um, it's like there was a, if there was a gauge to be accepted into a a society, like a, a membership qualification, you wouldn't be allowed in a smite pipe smoking community because you smoke a filter pipe. I mean, that's the way, it's that bad at a pipe show. I mean, it really is. I mean, as soon as you ask at any table, you have any filter pipes? You, you almost see the expression on the face. The face drops. The, you know, boom. What are you talking about? Get out of here. <laughs> filter pipes. Come back to me when you're a real pipe smoker. really funny. <laughs> Even there was that guy there, the, the Meerschaum guy with the K, KBM, KBM is it? Or K, I forget now. This guy, I mean, uh, credit to him. He, he brings a load of pipes, boy. I mean, he has almost a whole aisle of Meerschaum pipes. And he had two Meerschaum filtered pipes. Out of, he, he had to have 500 pipes on his table if he had one. <clears throat> then there was a German, uh, I believe it's German, and I can't pronounce the name, but he does these weird pipes. They're uh, very expensive. Weemeyer something, um, he has the clear glass tubes, and he has this psychedelic wood he uses, and, but let me tell you something, I almost bought one of his pipes, only for curiosity, not at the show, when I seen him on smoking pipes, they're still on smoking pipes, but I was disappointed, and in, in up close, the quality is really um, they look like homemade pipes somebody, somebody made in their uh, garage and not a professional pipe maker. And he commands some big dollars. Uh, I mean, his cheapest pipe is $450, I believe. And they're no great shakes. I mean, credit to him, he's using some... Uh, um, different wood, he has some unique styles, which hats off to him, um, but I don't see the value at all, I mean, it's not like some work of art type of beauty, it's, um, I mean, I guess he's trying to make a living out of it, he has to get that kind of money to do it, but I don't know. I was a little disappointed. A lot of Costellos there. A lot of Costellos. And not many Savinelli's, uh, oddly enough. I would say Costellos outweighed, as far as name brand goes, any other pipe.
But anyway, if you can ever get to a pipe show, I urge you to do it. I'd love to go to the one of the big ones, the Chicago one. Um, next year, unfortunately, the transmission thing is in Tennessee. So if there is a Vegas pipe show, I won't be going to it. The last uh, six years it's been in Vegas, and so now they're switching it up to uh, Nashville. Because there's been complaints about always in Vegas, always in Vegas. <coughs> Which I gotta tell you, disappoints me already. But I'll tell you what, the pipe shows must have a really big uh, following because I was waiting in line to get in. And a lot of people online, you hear them talking amongst themselves. Oh yeah, we saw that in the other pipe show a few weeks ago, and uh, I'll be going to this other pipe show. And I mean, it's like a um, there must be this group that goes to all the pipe shows, I guess. But this one guy had this beautiful pipe bag, and the guy looked like he was from. If I had a guess, Texas, because he looked cowboyish. He had a cowboy hat, cowboy boots, and um, I would say Texas or Montana, but that doesn't matter. But he had this beautiful leather bag, and I so beautiful I had to ask him uh, who makes that leather bag. And a really nice guy, he tells me, and uh, he says, matter of fact, the guy is in New York that makes it, um, called Smoking Holsters. Obviously, he makes holsters also, but he makes these beautiful pipe bags. Very expensive, though. He had the ultimate pipe bag this guy was wearing. It was uh, in the $650. But what a beautiful bag. I mean, this he opened it up and showed me what's inside, and it could probably fit about eight pipes, tobacco, lighters, cleaners. It was really well thought out, well made. I mean, this is a lifetime bag. Really beautiful. So that may be on the bucket list. Anyway, hope everybody's had a good uh, week. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.